this segment, we are featuring Castle, Maine in our neighborhood spotlight. Each week, we pick one specific Metro Atlanta neighborhood to call out critical changes to help you as a buyer or a seller figure out how you might have a particular advantage in that neighborhood. Alfie, do you know where Peachtree Industrial and Sugarloaf intersect? Uh, I believe so. So Castle, Maine is on Peachtree Industrial just south of where it intersects Sugarloaf. Great subdivision, about 130 homes in there is not a very big subdivision. In 2017, the average sales price was $393,000. There were seven homes sold. They took 92 days on average to sell. In 2018, prices increased from $393,000 average on average to $438,400 on average. That is a great increase. Took 105 days on average to sell the five properties that sold that particular year. Year to date in 2019, there have been four homes sold at an average sales price of $461,700. So Alfie, in a three-year period, prices went from $393,000 to $461,000. That's almost a wow. $70,000 increase huh. in that neighborhood in a three-year period. That's, that's a amazing. big deal. Yeah, that's huge. So if we look at Homeowner equity in the neighborhood from 2012 when prices were at their low, recent low, to 2019 when they're at their high, homeowner equity has increased 27, excuse me, $26 million for those 129 homeowners. That's amazing, isn't it? There are currently four homes available for sale. There have been five homes in the neighborhood sold in the last 12 months, which means there's a 9.6 month supply of inventory, which means that's a buyer's market. Currently, uh, the average list price of a home in the neighborhood is $484,000, which is $25,000 higher than the average sales price last year. They go from a low of four fifteen dollars to a high of $574,000. Schools that serve that neighborhood, Chattahoochee Elementary, Duluth Middle School, and Duluth High School. Duluth High School gets a school chimp score of 68. And the reality is, Alfie, that once home values start to appreciate, home values appreciate probably just as fast in the lower score school districts as they do in the higher score school districts. But when the market prices are going down, they stay way more stable in the good school districts than they do in the lower quality school districts.